Okay, we're gonna do another respect video here. Initially, I was gonna do 10 characters that Melina can beat as a follow-up to 10 characters that Baraka can beat, but let's just throw it all into one video, right? And give Melina a eulogy, a proper sending off. So if you're like a casual Melina fan, you're definitely gonna learn something new here today. I've got you, Melina. So who is Melina? So Shao Kahn is a warlord, hungry for power, demands loyalty. And Shao Kahn is no fool. Suspecting that one day Kitana would betray him, Shao Kahn had a plan B. And that plan B was Melina. A clone, the ultimate replacement that would obey him to the T. Listen, basically Shao Kahn wanted a daughter he could control. Someone 100% loyal. Not a daughter snooping around chilling out with the ops. <laughs> so he told Shang Tsung to create a clone. But the difference is this clone was mixed with tar cotton DNA. Making Melina a hybrid. And it kind of messed up her mind a bit. Do we agree? But the benefits are, she gets the tar cotton's fierceness. That tar cotton durability and strength. From the Edenian side, you damn near live forever and they're excellent fighters. So yeah, on paper, Melina is a solid fighter. And of course, after this, a rivalry with Katana would start, which led to one of the best rivalries in Mortal Kombat, of course. But Melina came out on the losing end. And after Shao Kahn died, there was a huge struggle for the Outworld throne. In fact, a civil war. Melina and her forces versus Kotal Kahn and his forces. But in the end, Melina ended up getting the short end of the stick again. In fact, they killed her off. Killed off a fan favorite character of the MK franchise. Damn, Melina has had it rough. Now, characters that Melina can defeat. So initially, this video was done for Baraka because the word out on the street was that Baraka could defeat no one. He would lose to every single character in a match. So I made a video showing you 10 characters Baraka could beat. And then the answer was, oh, but it was only Joe characters. But guess what? You said he couldn't defeat anyone. I named you 10 characters he could. And now I'm going to name you characters that Melina can defeat in a fight. And guess what? There will be no Dan, Sean or Mocap. So how strong is Melina? Who can she actually defeat? Well, she definitely doesn't have a good resume at all. But does that mean she will lose every single fight against any single character? No. Let's start with Mortal Kombat. Melina can defeat Kira. Kira, half decent fighter, but once again, zero feats and has accomplished nothing. Her rival is Cobra, enough said. Melina actually has feats, Kira has none. I'll go through her feats later, then you'll realize that she can beat plenty of characters. Street Fighter, Poison. Once again, Poison is a character who has done nothing, featless. Was a jobber in the Final Fight games, came over to Street Fighter and started to manage Hugo. That's it. So a character like Poison could not use that argument that Melina has lost the majority of her matches. Why? Because Poison has won nothing. Nada. On top of that, all the characters that have beaten Melina would probably one-shot Poison. We had a fight where we had Melina versus Jurion. And Jurion won because of two reasons. Her Feng Shui engine increasing her power and the fact that she actually had good showings and feats. That's how it works. So essentially what you have here is a woman who was getting her butt kicked in the early stages of the Final Fight series who is now a wrestling promoter trying to manage Hugo against a woman who was getting her butt kicked in the Mortal Kombat franchise taking on gods, demons and actually putting up a decent fight and now running an army frontlining a battle in a civil war. Do you see the difference? Huge difference. Melina bodies poison in every category. More skilled, fought tougher opponents, has better showings and feats. Well, else? Tekken. Well, we know Miharu is dead. Lucky Chloe, dead. These two girls wouldn't even know what hit them. They've never faced anything like that in their life. They'd probably be terrified. This woman is trying to bite your neck off and stab you. 
What you need to understand is even the low tier characters, even the jobbers in Mortal Kombat are extremely dangerous. They're trying to kill you with every blow. That's their mentality. So if you're unsure and you're goofing around in a fight with a Mortal Kombat character, then you're most likely going to die. Plus the character has more skill and is physically stronger. Game over. Melina would literally eat Lucky Chloe for breakfast and eat Miharu for dinner. Who else? What other games are there? What art of fighting? Damn near half the roster is feetless and has no notable victories. What do you think Melina would do if she went to art of fighting? How many characters do you think she would beat from there? Many. Dead or alive, Zack's dead, Mila's dead. <laughs> I could continue, you get my point. My point is, just because a character has lost many matches, doesn't mean they will lose to any character. There's different levels to job in. Clearly the Mortal Kombat universe is at a higher level than your art of fighting, your fatal furies and your dead or alive. Way higher. Just look at the characters that are beating Melina. Someone like freaking Katana, Devorah. Do you think any of these characters mentioned stand a chance against Devorah in a fight? Nope. But I digress. Onto her powers and abilities. So what do we know? We know she has superhuman strength, superhuman durability. A master with the Psy. Has teleportation, can enhance her attacks, and of course if you get too close, she might just bite your face off. Now on to our notable victories and feats. Now you're actually gonna learn something. Melina has actually defeated Baraka. Scarlet took out an amped Blood Reiko. He would have died if he didn't have the power helping him. She's also defeated Shijinko, which was a job. And of course she was fighting on the front lines in the war, meaning she's probably killed hundreds of Kotal Khan's soldiers. So yes, she actually has victories. Now for her feats. Now strength, easy. We know she's superhuman. We've seen her fight Baraka. We've seen her fatalities. These are stuff she's capable of. She has superhuman strength. Durability, superhuman again. Simply watch her fight. We've seen this woman be knocked through walls, knocked off buildings, then gets right back up and tries to fight. Okay, she has superhuman durability. Speed, well, obviously she's fast. Keeps up with guys like Reptile, Kitana, plus she has teleportation, making it even faster. As far as her weapon mastery, well, let's just say her size skills are on point. You see what I did there? <laughs> But now, importantly, we now realize that the brutalities are actual feats. Melina actually performed her brutality on Scarlet during the battle. There was a thought that fatalities, brutalities could only be performed after a battle. Our uh answer, -uh, Melina took out Scarlet's legs in battle. So you know what that means? That means that every single character in Mortal Kombat X now has feats. Their brutalities and x-rays are feats. These are their abilities that they can do on decent opponents in battle and was done in story. So now it can no longer be deemed as simply gameplay mechanics. Okay, Kitana chopped off Moloch's head in the story, right? Quan Chi walks into the game with Moloch's head. Done in story, that's her fatality. Same with Melina and the brutality. So yeah, every single character in Mortal Kombat X now has feats you can use. Isn't that good or what? Now you know what these characters are actually capable of, rather than them having nothing. So that's good. So what can Melina do? Well, let's just choose probably the best three, right? The obvious one is we know Melina is strong enough to enhance her role to completely break your shins, ending the fight. Your legs are gone, completely crushed. Okay, that's her power. She's also skilled enough to throw her side from a distance through your eye, ending the battle. And of course, Melina is vicious enough and her teeth are strong enough to take a chunk out of your neck, ending the fight immediately, decapitating you. So yes, Melina is far from weak. In fact, she's a decent fighter with decent feats. But then again, she's in the Mortal Kombat universe. Essentially, she's a small fish in a big pond. 
Yes, she can teleport. Yes, she has super strength. But in Mortal Kombat, that's just Tuesday. Send her to another fighting game, then you probably get a different story. Overall impact, well, Melina ain't one of my mains. I don't regularly use her. I mean, I use people like Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Nightwolf, Noob or something, but I don't mind the character. In fact, she has a huge fan base. A lot of people love Melina. She has her fans. But I just have to say one thing. What was the purpose of repackaging Melina in MKX? Giving her a story, giving her some drive, making her actually look better and then killing her off? What? But there is a glimmer of hope, right? Cross your two fingers, because I have two ideas. If not, she's a goner. One, there's tons of Melinas as seen in her ending. So maybe it was a clone Melina that got killed off and Melina is still alive. Or two, if it was actually Melina and she is dead, simply have one of her clones replace her out for revenge in MK11. That's it. If neither are the case, then rest in peace, Melina. Than treat with my father's murderers! 